See this? He's looking me at the eyes and he doesn't know what's in this hand. Yes, it's time to film Franklis. Hello everybody and welcome back to Frankie to the Moon, <laughs> our YouTube channel where we talk about kind of like everything. Um, the support lately has been unreal, um, but the content has been a little bit overwhelming. So we just wanted to sit down and have a nice little chat today and talk to you openly about anything that you want to know about Frankie and our life together. Hey, mister? Yeah, he's a very, very good boy. It is currently 1 p.m. in the afternoon and we haven't done anything. We haven't gone outside or anything because it's negative 24 out today. So we've just been <laughs> chilling. I've been designing for my own little brand and everything. So let's hop on and let's do a little Q&A. Ask some questions over on Instagram. So if you haven't followed us yet, go give us a follow at Frankie to the moon and let's, uh, let's answer some questions. Holy moly. Look how many, look at this. That's crazy. Frankly, we got so many questions. I got so many questions. Whoa, those are the biggest stretches I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Yes, you gonna sit here and, and answer some with me? Does Frankie shed a lot? <laughs> yes. When I first got him, when he was a puppy, absolutely no shedding. I was like, what? Um, and then after a year, I was like, whoa, okay. This guy, this guy has a lot to say. <laughs> How did you teach Frankie to be off leash? How did you teach him to check in? Those are pretty big questions. We can do videos on that <laughs> in a little bit. But teaching Frankie to be off leash is more teaching him to want my attention and be near me. And teaching him this eye contact kind of goes with that. You got some boogers in your eye. So one of the biggest things that you can do is to teach your dog, you know when you have like a treat in your hand and you do this? Hey, thanks. See this? He's looking me at the eyes and he doesn't know what's in this hand. I could have a treat in this hand, but he doesn't really care because it's all about my eyes. And so that's the first step I would ever take with kind of anyone before you even go outside. When you first get your dog, teach them how to sit, teach them how to lay down, and then teach them this. Eye contact, which is huge. How old is Frankie? Frankie was born on February 15th, 2019. <laughs> Has Frankie always had a big toy drive? If not, how did you foster it? For example, a lot of people ask me like, how did I teach Frankie Frisbee? And the way I taught him that was getting him interested in it in the first place. He did a lot of it himself, I'm not gonna lie to you, but when I introduced it to him, every time he sniffed it, I got excited. He's not very food driven, so I didn't need treats on me all the time, but every single time that he touched or interacted with something that I liked, and this goes with many things, I would reward him with being overly excited, giving him pets, being happy, and he responded well to that. The first day I brought him home, he did play with a toy though, so he, I, I think he always kind of liked it. You can always, you can always teach your dog something. They're never too old, they're never too tired or too dumb or whatever. You can always teach a dog something. How was Frankie as a puppy? Did you have any particular issues with biting or anxiety? Frankie didn't really nip me that much. Um, we worked a lot and I would, I would tire his mind out a lot. We did a lot of training with like sitting, laying down and being behaving in the crate and everything. Um, and the one thing that changed for, for crate training, the one thing, if he was like whining or yapping or doing whatever and being loud, the one time I remember it, he was barking. And this was when I first, maybe his fourth time in the crate, and I walked in my room and I, I tapped on the crate instead of saying anything first. And that's when he was like, whoa. If you walk in and you go, Frankie, and you yell at him, he's gonna be like, okay, why did this guy just yell my name really loudly? Like at that tone, like what is this? But by doing the crate, it's an unfamiliar sound, right? Tapping this crate, when, when your dog's yapping or whatever, and you're just like, hey, 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 that doesn't do anything. You know, that you need to give them a tone that they can respond to and listen to. Hey, mister? What other names were you considering for Frankie? The one name that I've always wanted to name a dog um, was Vinny. I would love Vinny. But my grandfather's name is Vinny, and then I also have an uncle named Vinny, so I didn't want to name them after him. <laughs> It'd be weird. Is your dog scared of firecrackers and fireworks? He is not. He's not a biggest fan of it, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't go running away or anything like that. So, and the way I train that, the way I kind of like work with that is that if there was firecrackers going on outside or loud noises, what I did was, for example, like say a bus. So what I did for a bus is I went and I walked to a busy street and I walked where I knew a lot of buses went by. And every time a bus went by, I fed them treats. And I fed him treats and I fed him treats and I fed him treats. <laughs> the more and more I fed him treats and the more buses that went by, he started to realize, wait, 
what am I scared of? I'm getting treats for doing nothing right now, so I should just do nothing a lot. <laughs> Have you tried any sports other than disc? Just try playing a little bit of soccer. We'd love to try agility. There's just, we can't find a place to do it, especially with COVID and everywhere is like, you gotta get like puppy training this, puppy training this, dog training this, blah, 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 blah. and it adds up to like a thousand dollars before you even start doing training for agility. So we haven't done too much. We've just been having fun and doing our own thing. We would love to try though. How much does Frankie weigh? So I recently weighed Frankie, but like not properly, but with me. And I did it twice and I got 36.8 twice. So I'm gonna go with, he's around 36 pounds and he is 20 inches tall. And he's got big ass paws. <laughs> These paws are huge. When you met the litter for the first time was your immediate choice. So we got sent pictures for the first time and I, I, I told the breeder what I was looking for, what I wanted and everything like that and what, what I wanted in a dog, what I needed in a dog, who I was as a person and everything. And I got recommended his brother actually. She wanted to keep one dog to be the stud and breed with that dog. And so she chose Frankie's brother, which is now named Shadow. And so he was on my list to go home with me. And then, but very, very like quickly, she was like, okay, no, I'm gonna keep this dog. You can have this one, which was Frankie. And his original name was Arrow. And the moment I walked in to see Frankie, the breeder was just like, I've never seen a dog choose somebody more. There was an opportunity where you can go and meet the dogs halfway through. And I was actually on tour and I was traveling, so I couldn't make it. Uh, the only time I ever saw Frankie was when I was going to pick him up and I just had to trust. I had to trust her, I had to trust him and everything. And I walked in the door and I didn't really know which one was him because it was like 14 of them or 12, I think. Just like puppies everywhere and dogs and everything. And I, and I walk in and I just lock eyes with him. I didn't know which one he was, I just locked eyes and he ran right towards me. Oh my God, I, uh, I'm gonna upload a video about the first time I went to get Frankie because it was just amazing. We get this question a lot, who's Frankie's breeder? Frankie was from a breeder called Follow Me Canine and I don't wanna like overly share that because I don't want her to just be flooded with people, but she is truly amazing and they, uh, I'm very, very thankful for the best friend that they, they partnered me up with. Yeah, mister. Oh yeah, that's the nicest kisses. How many more questions do you wanna do? You're really sleepy today. Yeah. Okay, we'll do, we'll do two more questions, okay? You pick, you pick. This one. Best training tips. Best training tip is to respect your dog just as much as they respect you. When you look your dog in the eyes, you're not looking a dog in the eyes, you're looking something that has a soul in the eyes. And I know that sounds so like spiritual and all of that stuff. This is your best friend. This relies on you. This, 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 this is a thing. This is a soul and he relies, what? What are you doing? He relies on you. That's all you need to know. You need to look your dog in the eyes and know that he's more than a dog. And once you do that, once you have this certain respect for your dog, you can look him in the eyes and do a certain motion with your head and they just know what you're thinking. That's, that's when you know you did a good job. Hey mister. Thanks man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more. You gotta pick it. Uh, I'm gonna answer this one. I don't really wanna read it out loud because it was a little bit rude. Uh, a lot of people, <laughs> I like, why do you call your dog a mini Australian Shepherd when mini Australian Shepherd is not a breed? The Frankie is considered an American Shepherd. If I, if I titled these videos Australian Shepherd, Frankie's like almost 40 pounds, which is the average weight of a lot of Australian Shepherds out there. And he's near the size of them as well. Um, so you wouldn't even know for, for the people who are commenting unless I put it in the title. And they, everyone's getting mad at like misleading and everything like that. I'm not promoting to go out and buy a dog. I'm not promoting you anything. I'm just promoting, hey, this is my life with my dog. And mini Australian Shepherd is one of the most trending dogs right now, not an American Shepherd because people don't even know it as that. And so I'm not trying to sell a dog. So I'm not trying to be necessarily correct in the books here. I'm just trying to teach people to, to love their dog and show them that I love mine. And that's, that's it. That's all I'm doing here. So. I hope you enjoy your time and I hope it doesn't get you too mad. Hey, mister. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If we can try to get to like 500 thumbs up, maybe we can do a different Q&A. And thank you very much for 7,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Let's see if Frankie's gonna wave for us. Say bye. Good, good boy. Yeah.